Well, this is a fine mess I've found myself in, isn't it? The sun is on the far side of the hill. I'm, I'm wondering why it keeps being specific. These must have been some of the tools they used to make the cave below. A primitive tool, thank you. Oh, no. This seems to be holding that black clad figure up. Super. Brilliant. Brilliant job. Really stellar work. Now we missed the end of the party. I knew I should have topped up my hip flask before warping back here. Well, if you won't l let me back in, I guess I'll, I'll leave here now. I'll need to forage for, well, nothing, I guess. One of the perks of being dead. Uh, hello? Oh, another ghost. You seem like an awfully well-dressed chap for any end of thong. Thank you. Well, you're on your own. Make your own way to Limbo. I'm done reaping. After this, they'll have my scythe. Rope, too. Not the hourglass, mind you. That's not part of the outfit. Part of that myself. I'm a mento... Munanto... I mean, memento of reaping my 1,000th soul. Are you... drunk? I remember it well. His name was Susan, and she was a Victorian woman from... 1027, Jerusalem. I wasn't entirely certain how to... say a year that far back. 1027? 1027? One of them. Do you know what? I'm not sure I remember it at all. Anyway, pleased to meet you. I'm Charles Sisters Dickens Sisters, and this is where we'd die if we weren't already dead. Charles Dickens, the author? Author slash harvester of souls. Until today, that is. What happened today? Well, between you and me, I was probably a li little bit drunk when I spun up the portal engine. It's Christmas, you see. We're having a Christmas party. Uh, anyway, the bloody thing open inside this mountain we're sitting on. A soul I'm here to harvest won't come with me. Or let me go back in until he sees the sun. And you made this portal from the party itself? Oh, yes, from the office where the party was, well, underway. I... I got a last-minute death notification. I should have done it by the book. But the Alcarvis was giving me the look, you see. I think she wanted to jump my literal bones, so I took a risk. So if we satisf satisfy the caveman's ghost, we can go through again back into the office? Yeah, you, you almost thought, make it sound like some kind of puzzle that's solvable in a few steps rather than the perilous doom situation that it is. What I have to lose, whatever it is you're d d d d doing, I'm I'm in. I know a protagonist when I see one. But either way, uh. So how do we get you to see the ghost? Shiny, shiny eyeballs into your dank earth lump. Do we? Hmm. Oh, we can. That's the portal that was in the back office. I need to slip through. Sorry, I can't allow that. You see that yellow chat? In the sky there? The sun? 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 That's a quaint name for a god. We call him Brightball Skinburn. Anyhow, it's been my life's work to build this ritual site for him, you see. I just couldn't let anybody step in before before him. It would just seem rude, you know? So, until Brightball Skinburn bestows his glorious pain rays down to illuminate the sacred mound, it's off limits. After that, it'll be a few dollars a visit, I suppose. I just realized... Maybe we can break the uh, uh, glass on the uh, inside here with the tool we got. 
If I want access, I need to appease Huol by gaining the light of the sun to shine in. Let's have a look at this sun then. I'm, I'm no scientist, but I think that's not a brute. Brute. Good idea. Oh, no. Right. Well, I've opened the rest of these portals for you. There's more, of course. Billions of them. One for every moment through time. Why was one open in the first place? Well, this is the normal way we travel. We have portals for every moment in every era in time. Sorry, every era. I took a back way because I did. I, I don't have to answer to you. I'm, I'm the Reaper, you're the so back off. Well, this room must have sensed I was inside a time. So it opened the portal. It's the smart sites. They log souls, open portals, record our calorie intake, and send us IM notifications from work. It's a nightmare, really, getting messages as all our hours from the European and Chinese Reapers. So can we... Yes. Wait. Spirit, spirit containment unit. I guess we're off. Is this the Jurassic era? Whose souls are we reaping here? Dinosaurs are people too. That's not true. Oh, that would explain why I didn't have to come here much. Oh, what's what's that Dooley said about ninety minutes? Look at the size of that. You could fit an orphanage in there. The soil here seems very fertile. Must be because of the dinosaur's remains. It's not as bright as it when it... It's not as bright as it is when it's older. Shh. Same as the rest of us, I suppose. What are this dragon's wings? There's no dragon. It's a Brachiosaurus. Find Jonathan, Science B. Where are the Brachiosaurus's wings? Looks like Yule and Bongo will have a lot of work ahead of them. But also sort of behind them? The ground here is damp, warm and soft. It's crawling with insects. So we're gonna have to do all sorts of... Oh, hello. It's uh... oh, I don't remember what it was called. Look at all these dino babies having fun. They're using these stone toys as rudiment... These stones as rudimentary toys. I'm taking one. Do you think this is adorable? You can't take to take one of their toys. Goodness. At least he will before he comes to his senses and tells me dinosaurs never existed. Oh, this looks like someone somebody I know. Hi Proto Nigel. Some salty primordial soup. N Nigel? Is that how he got his name? But I, I'm not gonna think about the time loop. Thing. That's gonna it's gonna end up hurting. When is this? When America was first discovered, Vikings landed here during the Great Migration period, around 1000 AD, by mistake. This is in them. This is like the second, third time Vikings landed, a less significant event. How did you get back here? It's a good night for mapping the stars, Cheyenne. We honor our ancestors by recording their place in the cosmic spider web. We should honor them by living in the present, not by recording the past. Child, don't make me build some steps so I have somewhere to send you on timeout spot. On. Where did the spot. On timeout. I guess it's like being a ghost and not feeling the cold. But then you can enjoy drying off and warm, warming yourself up by a roaring fire. You seem to be mapping out the stars on, on these animal skins. Thought we were going to take them as well. When's a boat, especially what looks like a viking boat, doing on the hill? 
Oh. You are admiring the she chief's mighty wooden goose, yes? Sven ghosts on. It's okay to feel intimidated. We cannot all stick massive ducks on the front of our longships. If it were so simple, we'd all be chiefs. Hello, fellow dead. Hey, so, uh, what happened here? Ha, huh, it is a funny story. It's a funny story, actually. We were out viking about, you know, looking for monasteries to raid and lost sheep to plunder. When this rude storm came out of no place, it sucked the ship right out of the water and spun us out, spun us for the longest time. Of course, for me, it did not feel so good or feel so long. This oar stabbed me in the liver bolts. <laughs> that's a, that's an interesting. Oh, ah, my liver bolts hurt. When ghost me woke up, we were here, wherever here is. Not that it matters to me. I'm presuming you and that hungover looking man are here to take me to Valhalla. Oh, yes, but in a more real and important way. No, don't listen to him. I designated... Well, Halignite will be with you soon. We're here to catalog your aura, since it killed such a mighty warrior. Oh, here you go then. I'll just wait here for the Valkyrie to come. So, yes, uh, Valkyrie, that's the word I meant. The gods have sent us to this new land to spread their word and begin new lives. Well, not Sven. They sent him here to die. Oh. To think. All these shields and they did nothing to protect us from the storm. Hole and ship. Yes, that is true. The ships. The ships. It's, it's only one ship. It's only one ship. There we go. This ship looks like... The ship has had a rough time. The mast stayed strong th through the whole thing. I don't mind saying, I did a fine job with it. All off ship fingers. Of course, if it had snapped, we'd not have been sucked into that freak vortex and dropped into this strange new land. It's a very ni nice mast though. A pile of discarded rotting wood. That's the kind of thing I can make use of. The wood is floating away. Well, not when Hildegard is on guard. On guard. Damn, guess if I want wood, I need to get rid of her. You could try trading her some sheep. Oh, sorry. I don't know what I clicked, but I'm not sure what to do in this situation. I guess I'll just load around all this broken stuff for no real good reason at all. What's the damage? It doesn't look good. You see here? Right here where this big hole is. I see it. I see it. Well, that shouldn't be there. It's in the wrong place. For a hole, I mean. When we crashed into this hill, the hull just crumbled. Lucky it held that long. Whole thing was infested with termites. Oh no. Will it cost much to repair? Cost much? Chief, you could have all the gold and silver in the known worlds and it'd do you no good. They're too heavy. The boat would sink. No, you need wood. And we don't know where... Where the nearest forest is. Some drums. It got bashed in the storm. Shame, really. The chief loves a good drum circle. I wonder if, the, if there's anything we can do to fix the broken one. I won't let the wind blow these away a second time. She's off me from taking them. I need to distract her if I want it. Do, do I want the broken drum that badly? Okay, so it, it was her I clicked. Back down we go, I guess. Turn on the first millennium. Let's go into the green rift. Those fun hats suggest we're visiting, visiting the Puritans. I just realized the house has legs. There's no sun or moon. She doth maketh me feel uneasy. Uneasy? Uneasy, I doth mean. Dothly. Me thusly, for she... Oh, oh no. Weareth the vibrant colors of ye old festive season, and singeth merry folk songs, and... and can, it th can, can we just dislike her for being a womanly folk and dispense with otherly excuses? Now, brother, we must be wagging our finger and vocal in our condemnation of her happiness and cheer. 
It is ungodly to find joy in the supposed birthday of the Son of God. Aye, it so happens that she be female, but that is subtext. Better we keep her down with a confusing moral stance than any words of truth. What's in here now? Tis a special winter brew, traveler. One in which the milk from a cow, the egg from a chicken, and the brandy I stole from a house party are mixed together, so eggnog. Here, lost and pitiful boy, take this glass to its heath. So its heath can w Its heath? Its heath. It's heat. There we go. <laughs> I knew I had said it wrong and said heath instead of heat, and still I couldn't say heat. It's the tith of all these guys' dialogue, I swear. So it's heat can warm your stray soul, and the dairy can heat your heart. Hey, it's eggnog. Yes, the nog of an egg. That is a better name than I come with a, up with raw egg slime, now with only a 54% chance of salmonella. Does your hut have chicken legs? No, not chicken legs. They are far more troublesome legs of a goose. Honk. Why does your cat only have one eye? It got poked out on my pony hat. It's okay though. Gives him a more mystical vibe. Welcome pilgrims. You have journeyed far to get here. Even if in some ways you've not traveled very far at all. You can see me? Us? I see many things. And to be clear, yes, that includes you too. Oh, I get it. Pointy hat, cauldron, catch your woman who brews and sells beer. Yes. <laughs> That's the only potion on sale here. Yes, sir. Hmm. She doth speaketh to the very air itself. Like she communes with a slash the devil. Bugger. Look out, they can't see you. A termite mound. What's a termite mound doing up here? Where did it come from? Termites, presumably. Presumably, I think he said. Do we get termites on the Yule log? Let's let's go to all the places first. This looks to be the gilded area. Home, sweet home. Sort of. I mean, we're only five or six hundred miles off. We're practically there. That has too many notes. Let's see what we can do to fix it. Please don't be uh, uh, like a musical uh, puzzle, because uh, then we're just never going to finish this uh, puzzle, and uh, or this case, and Dooley will have to wait for more than 90 minutes, I can assure you. Do we play them again, or will that progress something? That sounds more like the Christmas jingle jingles I know. I'm sorry, son. I need to pull a quadruple shift in the misery factory. That that misery doesn't manufacture itself, you know. That's okay, father. Do you think the extra money will pay for an operation to remove all the extra bones from my body? Extra money? I have a bucket-shaped hole in my coat that needs filling. Oh. You actually do. Oh, father. I hope that one day we can afford a real house. This one is sticky and doesn't keep the damp out. At least we have the rats to keep us warm. We'll need those rats, son. Uh, bad news. The walls have caved in. We toss them behind the house in the hopes it attracts more rats to cuddle. I'm going to take that, but only in the hopes of using it to make these people's lives better. Sure. What? I'm serious. Look, look buddy, we, we've all told ourselves lies to justify stealing somebody's gingerbread wall. But you're not better than me. You'll be in your pants at 3 a.m. dunking that kid's house into some warm milk. Now I want gingerbread cookies. I'm gonna make their lives better. You'll sob as you spill milk on your naked chest. You disgust me. A gingerbread house extension. Oh, a rat. That red rat is waving a knife at me. 
Can we? Whatever they're making there, it's pumping out the thickest, blackest smoke. I think it's actually a smoke factory. Very popular in my day. So presumably we do something to get access to that later. Oh, this is the switchboard. Back before it was lined up for demolition. Here as well, eh, Moon? This is going in my notes. A hippie van. I should check it for narcotics. Sadly, there's nothing. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. I did find this neat, neat torch. Now it was mostly the best of times. It's broken, however. And we're back to being mostly the worst of times. Can we? We can. This little fella caused me a lot of trouble earlier this year. Oh, or will cause me trouble in the future. I'm not sure which is correct both. Damn, time travel. It doesn't look all that different before it was pulled apart. A toad machine? Why is it why is this machine filled with toads? Where else would you get them? Wait. Do you have a toad guy? Can you hook me up? In a great irony, now we'll steal Merle's acorns. I don't know any of these people. Don't drag me into this. Oh, we are successful in summoning it. I want to ask for guidance for what I should do in life. I hope this works. I found this ritual in a book in the library. Did it say actual file or did it say I think it probably said ritual file. Looks like they're trying to form a ritual. So, how exactly are we going to summon the festive spirit? What? It's an abstract pers pers personification of a collective human ideal, Derek. Not a cat. Oh, he was making the... Or Turns out I don't know how to call a cat. Well, when my cat goes missing, I get its favorite things together and put them outside. The smell usually helps find her, helps her find her way home. Again, not, not a cat. I think he's on to something, though. If we can bring together the elements of the season, maybe we can lure it here. Can we say some magic words? Jack, we're summoning a thing. Of course we're going to say magic words. God. So what are the elements of the season? I guess stuff you'd associate with the holidays? I bet there's five elements, because, you know, pentagrams. I mean, we don't have anything better to, to go on. But this seems like, like a very random guess. Intuition. A fair point. Can we go to roof? Yes, we can. What a beautiful night for stargazing. Wait, I think I see something. This is a moon ray, I take it, to transport oneself there and back? No, no, that does, doesn't exist. Not yet, maybe. Wait, will it? Will what? This is fine, I guess. I just wish the family business was a bit more rock and roll or something. This gallows is very strange looking. I see the appeal, though. A hanging here would be visible for miles. We we don't do that anymore. What what do you do with criminals? Usually send them into politics or business. It's in use right now. You could possess them? Is that something I can do? You're a ghost. You've already mastered the poltergeist out of stealing things. This is just another skill. And it's safe? For you. Hmm. Okay, let's... We have a lot of... Stuff. I don't... Oh. Excuse me. Has anyone seen the packet of acorns I brought for the offering? Nope. Not me. I brought some chocolate raisins. Is it, if that's any help. Derek, would you listen to yourself for God's sake? I fear I have been robbed. Perhaps this is a sign I sought. Yes. This is it. 
I feel it is my adorable bushy tail. I feel it in my adorable. From now on, I shall no slave away all summer in gathering nuts for the winter. I shall become a master thief and take whatever nuts I want. Thank you, mystery person who stole my nuts. You have given me purpose. Oops, a daisy. <laughs>